All right. Hey YouTube, uh, back here. We're gonna finish up this uh, DNA 40, or excuse me, listen to me, DNA 40, DNA 200 um, monologue. I guess you could call it this build here. I've been going through. Um, it definitely did not go the way I intended it to go, and that's just the way it happens. No matter every time their new board comes out, it's always something. I, I was caught up in the DNA 40 issue. I went through probably, hmm, I don't know seven six maybe six boards before the seventh board probably was good it, the pain in the ass but uh, in this case i don't think it was the board okay so if you followed along i was trying to do dual 18650 and it wasn't working i thought it was e-scribe turns out that it was the battery tray okay either the tap the wires were interfering with the with the power wires or it was the power wires not letting enough uh, voltage or amperage through. So it was a combination of that. It actually set itself correctly. It, it was to the 2S. It was stopping it 133 watts. And um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess I have to try Keystone Tray maybe or something like that. But So what I ended up doing, you know, we're over to the uh, 3S LiPo now. Okay. So, you know, full 200 watts. Now, again, I have to get back into eScribe because it's only firing Canthal at 100 watts. As you can see, sorry, it's backwards, but you can see 200 watts. And, you know, I, I just went on eScribe and I clicked factory, restore factory settings. So I actually didn't do any modifications, any alterations. I just restored factory settings. All right. Put this back down to 85. So I'm running just a little dripper here, uh, 0.2 ohms, 85 watts. All right. So it, it it's hitting very nice, very very nice. Now I normally don't vape like this. I'm a tank guy. All right. Now the other thing is, I actually measured this out and I found a 1300 milliamp hour pack. It's going to fit in here perfectly. I don't have to, it'll uh, clear all this stuff up here and it'll give me just enough room to tuck some of this stuff back behind here. All right. Now, I've had some uh, comments, people asking where the box came from. Now, I actually found the Facebook group that this originally came from. Like I said, I got this secondhand from another guy off of uh, ECF, but I'll put the link for the Facebook group below. And he's making all sorts of wooden boxes, CNC machines. Uh, you can get them for the 40 small screen, I guess the you know the 40 big screen. And his DNA 200 box has been re you know reworked, so you could fit bigger lipos in there. It's a little thicker. Uh, you know, pretty limited what I could stick in here. This is only 21 millimeters deep up to this little lip, so it's it's pretty limited. But uh, but real quick, I'll run through the parts. The buttons, okay, we're from Avamo. I got a Vamo V3, ripped it apart. That's where the buttons are from. All right, now the box maker, that Facebook group, uh, this faceplate, copper faceplate, and I actually have carbon fiber one. I don't know where it went, but there's a carbon fiber one that goes on here also. Okay, so that was fit with the box. Vamo buttons, the board, uh, Valve's website, they sell them. Uh, there's other websites out there. And then uh, uh, this battery, 900 milliamp hour battery off of a uh, Vob's website, so they sell this too. And then the 510 connector, you know, Fat Daddy 510 or the Vary 2 version, whatever you want to use. So there's not a whole lot of parts here. It's pretty simple. All right, you know, the charge chip, everything's integrated with the board. If you followed along, you've seen that. There's literally, you know, once you get the lipo, you just plug the tap in, you solder on your connect. Now, this connector, like I said before, it was an XT30 connector. All right, banana plug, I believe they call it. They sell them all over the place. If you don't, you know, if yours didn't come with it, you're gonna wanna make sure you use a connector. Don't hardwire it on there. Makes it easier, all right. So, double-sided taped it in, all right. We're up and running. 200 watts, although I'm only getting 100 with Canthal right now, so that's kind of strange. But, you get the idea. So the build is done. I'm going to definitely get back into the dual 18650, try to figure that sucker out. I, I really, it really pisses me off, to be honest. 
that's what I want to run it off of. These lipo packs, the battery life, it, they'll try to tell you that if it's 900, three cells, you get 9, 18, 27, not comparable. It's definitely not. It's not how it works. It's not, you don't get more milliamp hour adding cells in series. You know, you double your amperage, so, you know, you're actually hitting each cell a lot softer than you would if it was a single cell, but it, that's not how it works. So, you know, I try to get 13 in here, see what it, you know, see what it does, but I'm only getting, you know, vaping like this, who knows? You probably only get a few hours out of it, but uh, generally I'm using, you know, either the uh, Goblin Mini, uh, a K-Fon, you know, like 15 watts. Uh, I got this Suthulu V2. This is new, just came in. All right. Something like that. And I will stick this on here. Now it asks every time, pretty much, no matter what you put on there, if it's a new coil. You know, there's a lot more information on the screen. Everything is, uh, it's definitely nice. You know, I vape. 30 watts, 0.38 ohms. That's just uh, that's where I usually vape, and I'm probably getting only four hours. That's it. Um, maybe a little more, five, six hours, something like that. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of uh, vaping time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, if you watched the, all my build parts going through, uh, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, try it yourself. Things happen. All right, things happen, and you gotta just keep changing the adapt with it. You know this 200. All right, I've done. I'm sure if you see my videos, I got this DNA 40 I did. You know I've been building for myself for a while. Here's an older DNA 20. All right, this has got uh, lipo packs inside. So, all right. Uh, so that about wraps it up. All right. Any more questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Like I said, I'll leave the uh, link for the box. All right. The mod, the box maker in the description. And uh, mod it. Keep modding. Do it up, guys. See ya.